me start uh, with a word of thanks uh, for having me here. It's really an honorable moment for me to be sitting as a distinguished colleagues. And I have the honor to uh, talk to a young batch of innovators who are going to come in the industry. So I don't have a prepared speech. I will kind of pick and choose from what uh, my colleagues already talked about. So let's start with taking a moment of pride in today. I think all credit goes to all of you young kids who actually made it through the rigorous multi-semester course and I've been there. It's not easy. So give yourself a pat on the back that you have achieved a milestone today. Uh, have a moment of pride. But with that moment of pride, I also want to kind of ask you to feel two more emotions. One is humility. Uh, in our right to a goal, more often than not, we forget the parents and the family that stood behind us in our teams of how to grow this up, as simple as giving you the facilities. Imagine this, out of the 300 million people who are eligible for such, such a course, we have 40 odd actually made through this institute. So that's really a lot of hard work by you, but also a lot of, of hard work by this institute, as well as a lot of hard work with your family, which doesn't get noticed. So if you feel that, I would encourage you to go back to your parents and friends today, give them a hug and thank you. It's some professors, we used to love some professors, but uh, 10 years later, I realized those professors actually made me what I was. It took me a while. And whenever I go to any young uh, school to actually talk, that's one request I have. Once you finish your photo sessions today, go to your teachers, bow down, take the blessings. They will, they, they will, they will matter a lot. I think that will inculcate three values in your, in, your, uh, in your system. Pride, humility, and gratitude. And I say with experience across, working across the globe and working with multi countries uh, on a daily basis. These things matter to you. Success is a function of all these things. Take pride in whatever you want to do. Be humble about the people who want to support you. And give the gratitude to the teams that actually will make you successful. Keep these three values that, that will go a life long with you. So let's come down to what next. Uh, great milestone. Savor the moment, but it's the start of, start of learning. The fun starts now. Uh, this will be a set of continuous set of learnings that you're going to go through. The good part is you're entering into a era where a lot is changing. And whether you like it or not, you're coming in two streams called tech and business. And that's a real, real dynamic work. Uh, why is it dynamic? Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you something that you already know. Ten years back, we had something called a Walkman, which used to be a nice crappy device to play music. We had a Kodak camera, uh, and we had multiple other applications that I would actually have to have in my home. All of that collapsed into a single innovation called iPhone. Move fast and break things. That also relates to translates to fail fast. And when I first joined this company, I said I used to run telecom networks. I would argue with my team: move fast and break things. Are you crazy? Remember. The more harder the ball gets hit on the ground, the faster it bounces. And it's true globally. And I can tell you this is a global phenomenon where the faster you learn, you should be proud of it. Some of the best partners that came out were literally mistakes. And again, uh, as a startup, Facebook is today about 11,000 people globally. Uh, I used to run a company which had 11,000 people in India. That's the difference. Uh, 320. 350 billion valuation is different. So this is companies doing something new. Same as Google, they're doing something different. Learn from that rather than kind of learn from on your own mistakes. When you come to the corporate, you have heard the nice acronym, rat race. My simple advice: you can choose to be the rat, or you can choose to be the to build the potential in your system. Choice is yours, and more often. Often than not, the potency actually takes the better of the rats. So, get some basics right. And trust me, these basics work across the globe, whether in India, whether in, in the US, whether in, 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 in Europe. As much as I would love to lo love you to kind of contribute to this country, but do not limit your horizon. We are living in a digital world. The world is collapsing. 
as much as I love to think that uh, the economics, the economies of the world are going to impact us, for sure they will. But when we talk in Facebook of prioritizing a, prioritizing a product, we think about India first. So is your life that you're going to live through? And do not hesitate to make career changes. It's easy. It's much, much easier than as you think about. One of the mindsets in India is when we get fired or we get laid off. Crash it. There's nothing called getting fired. It's an opportunity for you to start something fresh. So take those fears away. You'll actually come out much solid. You'll focus on what you want to build. Most importantly, I see a bunch of girls over here. Uh, my salute to those parents who will allow you to come and actually pursue your dream over here. Do not lose that. Corporate makes life difficult. That's what you hear in the newspapers. Trust me, as a guy also, I have same difficulty. It's no different. So do not go by the stereotypes. Follow your dreams. Please, 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 please do not end up as a housewife. You guys are brains. Please contribute. You got a good scale. Please contribute and you'll see the world wanting to support you. Uh, I try to sum, sum this up by saying, believe in your dreams, be the person you want to be, get the potency that you have to develop with or without water. You are, you are all mature people, you can figure out what you want to do. But more importantly, do not forget the three things, pride, humility and gratitude. With that, I never wish people luck, I say, do what you can do best and I think you will get there. Thank you.